Hello, I'm Mark Cicero, a pediatric emergency physician and assistant professor of pediatrics and emergency medicine at the Yale School of Medicine. This discussion is on calcium-based kidney stones. Calcium-based stones are far and away the majority of stones, accounting for 80% of all kidney stones. Within calcium-based stones, calcium oxalate is the most common cause of stones, and it precipitates in the urine when the urine is acidic. Therefore, you can imagine that there are some important predisposing factors, including ascorbate, or vitamin C abuse, hypocitraturia, and ethylene glycol ingestion, or poisoning. Calcium phosphate stones make up the minority of calcium-based urinal stones, and they precipitate in a basic urine in contrast to calcium oxalate stones. All calcium stones are radioopaque, and this is a key thing to recognize as you study calcium-based renal stones. On these two images of the same patient with renal stones, Please note that on the left side, there's a radioopaque renal stone in a standard radiograph. On the right is an IV urogram showing left-sided hydronephrosis. This is an important reminder that renal stones can have complications, including hydronephrosis and if left untreated, renal failure. Also, clinically, before these conditions occur, these are known to be some of the most painful conditions seen in medicine. Calcium-based stones are differentiated by their microscopy and their appearance of urine crystals. Calcium oxalate stones, again the most common, have dumbbell or envelope-shaped crystals. Calcium phosphate stones, in contrast, have wedge-shaped prism crystals. An important treatment for recurrent kidney stones are thiazide diuretics. An important way to remember this is that thiazides keep the calcium inside and are the treatment used to prevent recurrence. Calcium oxalate stones are also treated with citrate supplementation and low sodium diet. The image on this slide is a good reminder of all the places along the urinary tract where stones may be wedged and may cause pain. These are places where calcium-based stones and the other renal stones you'll be studying can collect. 